Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, To thee we come, O Lord, our God. Before thine altar, Father, thou knowest best our yearning hearts. This supplication answer, lift up from one thy people, Lord. Bless us, O God, O Father, bless our cross we stand prepared to serve thee with devotion, be it with sweat of blood or tears, or humble resignation, for we thy people are Today we will be celebrating the Contemporary Mass, and if I'm not mistaken, that is on page 63. Three. Thank you. <coughs> Let us now enter into communion and with covenant with God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord. Bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pause for a moment and make an examination of our conscience. And now let us recite the second form of the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He has counsel in store for the upright. He is the shield of those who walk honestly. Therefore I prayed and prudence was given to me. I pleaded and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory <coughs> to who God in the highest and, and peace to his people, people on earth. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King Almighty God, God and Father, we, we worship you, we give you thanks, we, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only Son, Son of the Father. Father Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Please be seated. 
Let us pray. Almighty Father, how infinite is your wisdom. How limited is our knowledge. Transform us by your power that we may walk in your ways and attain wisdom. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O merciful Father, today we offer prayers for the repose of the soul of our late departed brother and bishop, Yaroslav Rafalko. Accept him into your eternal kingdom and bring to all of us the consolation of always trusting in your care. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jimmy, would you please proclaim the word? Be careful with your footing because there might be a little bit of a rut. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant king to deceive my father David, but I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people, and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you've asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for life of your enemies, but for understanding, so that you may know what is right. I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one equal to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jimmy, would you please offer the responsorial psalm? The I response is, Lord, I love your commands. Lord, I love your commands. I have said, O Lord, that my part is to keep your words. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Lord, I love your commands. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Let your compassion come to me that I may live for your law is my delight. Lord, Lord I, love I love your love commands. commands. For I love your commands more than gold, however fine. For in all of your precepts I go forward every false way I hate. Lord, Lord I, love I love your, your commands. commands. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. The revelation of your words shed light, given understanding to the simple. Lord, Lord I, love I love your commands. Your commands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My mouth will speak wisdom, my heart shall offer insight. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and goes, and out of joy, goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets, what is bad they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> May the name of Jesus be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Yek bencha pafaloni Jesus Christus. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, ask something of me and I will give it to you. These words are taken from today's first reading from the first book of Kings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The wisdom of Solomon, considered to have been divinely inspired by God, and we see in today's first reading that Solomon asks God, God, give me an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. Do you know how old Solomon was when he became king? Twelve years of age. What does a 12-year-old know? Not much. But Solomon <clears throat> knew to seek the wisdom of God. Solomon went on to, to write not only the wisdom as found in the Apocrypha, also the Song of Solomon in Lamentations, not too many people know about the wisdom of Solomon. 
but we know where that wisdom came from. You probably heard the story of two women that went to King Solomon one day and they both argued over a child. And so what was the wisdom of Solomon? He stopped and he prayed. And then he said to each of the women, I know how to resolve this issue. I will cut the baby in two. And will give each of you a half. And one woman says, No, Lord, give the other woman the child. And at that time, Solomon knew who the real mother was. The wisdom of Solomon. <clears throat> you know, as man descends, it is in contradiction to what our Lord teaches to be brought to a higher level of understanding. You know, for some reason there's a drop-off after the sacrament of confirmation. Maybe when we were all young we thought that we knew everything. But I think the more that we go into life, the more we realize we don't know anything. And so, where do we turn? We turn to Holy Scripture. You know, our world is so confusing today. Every single time I turn around, there are people who are trying to identify themselves. So we start with the LBQT, transsexual, pansexual, binary, non-binary. And every time we turn around, in the world of psychology, there's another disorder. And so, my brothers and sisters, we read in Scripture, and in today's second reading, that the wisdom of God is so much more. And that, basically, God <coughs> has given the wisdom to those for whom we call firstborn. You know, we say Jesus is the firstborn, but each and every single one of you who has come in communion with God and asked God to come into your life, you are beginning a process by which you are working towards your own salvation. Maybe that's why Jesus said, if you love your father or mother more than me, you're not worthy of me, or a son or a daughter or a son-in-law, or a father-in-law, or a daughter-in-law. It is only through your acceptance of the wisdom of God that you are brought to an understanding. Every single day that you take time to offer prayer, and as we, prior to the sermon today, the homily, we pray and we sing to the Holy Spirit to fill us now. You know, there have been a lot of great people, and you saw in this past week's bulletin references <clears throat> of wisdom. There are those who have the wisdom of God, and they have a way of portraying it through their words, through their writings, through their poetry, and through their music. For us in the beginning of the Gospel of John, how does it start? In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And we also understand that God is the source of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Our blessed Lord, in His teachings, is pure wisdom. From it comes from God because in our faith we believe that Jesus the only begotten was the transparency of the Word of God last week we talked about three of the parables of the kingdom of God today we talk 
talked about another four. And each and every single one of these parables are meant for advancing our knowledge and understanding of the kingdom of God that exists within us. What did Jesus say? He said, you know, the kingdom of God is not there or there. And it doesn't come about by outward expression. But where did Jesus say the kingdom of God is? It is within us, within ourselves, each and every single one of us. You have the keys to the secrets of heaven. This is what Jesus said over 2,000 years ago. Understand that most of the people in Jesus' time were illiterate. They didn't know how to read. They did not know how to write. And so they flocked to hear the wisdom of God that Jesus offered. He said the kingdom of God in the beginning is like a mustard seed. It's like yeast. In the first three parables, including the wheat parable of the wheat and the tares, Jesus is talking about the beginning of the transformation that must begin within each and every single one of you to understand and to know what is the wisdom of God and to put your own personal wisdom off to the side. They said for 40 years Moses struggled to understand. For the next 40 years he traveled in the, in, with, the, with the need to understand God and that in the last 40 years Moses came to the realization that he didn't know anything. You know when we put the wisdom of God in the light and compare our own <coughs> personal lights we fall short every single time and you know wisdom of God, of, of God is so important because it helps us to travel on the paths back unto our own eternal life. <clears throat> no one can give that to you. You must find it yourselves. Then Jesus say, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. And so if we were to sum up everything that Jesus said and we find from the Gospel of John that it is only a fraction of what Jesus said. These are words that were first started by the, by the evangelist Mark, continued with Matthew, then Luke, and then John. What is the first thing that Jesus tells us? If we were to sum up everything, Seek first the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you. And so if you seek the kingdom, realize it is not outside of yourselves, but rather it lies deep within you. Because the soul is the pathway unto knowing God. Did he not make us each and every single one of us in his own image and likeness? Did not he breathe within us and we became living souls? And for us to understand the importance of the kingdom of God and to understand God begins with ourselves in the search and the journey by which we may know God. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. Yek bencha pafalon Jesus Christus. I believe in one God. Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth.
maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one thing with the Father. Through him all things remain, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. On this beautiful day, let us offer our intentions to Almighty God with the response of, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray this day for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, and the homeless. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. We pray today for Matthew de Brinzi. We pray this day for George Sadowski, for Louise Pahalski, for our brothers and sisters who are homebound. Is there anyone else in our prayers? Then we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our yeah, prayer. prayers. We pray this day for all abused and neglected children in our world, all abused and neglected animals, all those who suffer violence, both here and abroad, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We thank God for the blessings of doctors and nurses, first responders and healthcare workers. We thank God for the blessings of all those who serve on our armed forces, both here and abroad. And we pray this day for peace, peace in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for our own salvation, for our own illumination, that the wisdom of God might touch our hearts and that we might strive daily to know of the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for the Polish National Catholic Church. We pray for holy name of Jesus, for all our brothers and sisters, friends and families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And today we offer prayer for the repose of the soul of our late departed brother and bishop, Bishop Yaroslav Rofalko. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. But if any of you asks, lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, through this oblation, change our hearts, that our lives may be parables of your greatness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty Father, accept these gifts which we offer to you and faith and trust. May this offering unite all of us with your Son's offering on the cross, which brings to each of us eternal life. We pray this day for the repose of the soul of our brother and bishop in blessed memory, Yaroslav Rofalko. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your whole hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his cross and resurrection, he freed us from sin and death and called us to the glory that has made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your one own wonderful light. And so therefore we join this day with the voices of angels and archangels, along with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of power and might, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna in the, in the highest. This morning let us turn to the Eucharistic prayer number three, which is the canon of Saint Basil the Great. Does someone have a page? I have it not in my 84. Missile. 84, thank you. We acclaim you, Holy Lord, glorious in power. Your mighty works reveal your wisdom and love. You have formed us in your own image, giving the whole world into our care so that in obedience to you, our Creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy, you came to our help, so that in seeking you, we might find you. Again and again, you called us into covenant with you, and through the prophets, you taught us to hope for salvation. Gracious God, you love the world so much that in the fullness of time, you sent your only Son to be our Savior. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners' freedom, to the sorrowful joy. To fulfill your purpose, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the grave, destroyed death and made the whole creation new, and that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us. He sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift for those who believe, to complete his work in the world and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified, having loved his own in, in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with them he took bread 
And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. We now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, awaiting his coming in glory and offering to you from the gifts you have given us. This bread and this cup, we praise you and bless you. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. We pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share this bread in this cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your name. Remember your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. Remember Anthony, our prime bishop, Paul, our bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember all your people and those who seek your truth. I share with you our brothers and sisters who we remember in prayer as we celebrate the Mass of Health and Healing. And so therefore let us pray today for our brothers and sisters for Shirley Melitsky Floyd, Louise Pahalski, Cindy Benjamin, Mary Jokinowski, Karen Herzig, Bill Durkee, Stefana Gadetsky, Roberta Walters, Marge Sanderson, for Richard Foster, Brandon Poe, Father Senior Joseph Soltyshak, Father Pavel Lukashevich, for my brother Wayne Shaw, for Liam Spatcher, Matthew DeBrinzi, Jerry Polakowski, Jenny Harrington, Carolyn Rapoli, for Eric Rose, George and Janet Sadowski, Helena and Julie Lukomsky, Barbara Collins, Todd O'Dell, David Moskin. Are there any other names to be added? And for all those for whom we remember in prayer at this moment, Let us remember all who have died in the peace of Christ, 
whose faith is known to you alone, especially today for the repose of the soul of our late departed brother and bishop of the church, Bishop Yerji Rofalco. Bring all of them into the place of eternal joy and light and grant that we might find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with our ancestors in faith, with the prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and with all saints for whom we keep in memory this day, and all the saints who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. All honor and glory are yours, creator of all, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. For, now let us turn to page 95 and continue. For forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. The cup of blessing which we bless is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, also with you. and now let us greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be peace unto you. Peace be with you. Take care. And now, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Let us pray together the first communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. We will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen.
the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul until my everlasting life. Blessed are you if you hunger and thirst after righteousness, for you shall be filled. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. alike, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, grant us true insight 
that we who have been strengthened by your presence may bring forth treasures both old and new and be worthy to be called your disciples. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, O merciful God, through this Holy Eucharist, we are united with our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead. May our brother and bishop of the church, Yaroslav Rafalko, be joined with you in the New Jerusalem. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of you. And may the grace and the wisdom of God lead you unto the Heavenly Father. Thanks be to God. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, again, I welcome all of you. And I hope that you, having met the Lord today in prayer and in communion, truly appreciate the gifts that we have. I first of all want to thank those of you who came Friday night and actually shared in fellowship with the silent auction. We had everything indoors due to the heat and the humidity. And so, therefore, I think by the time we were finished, uh, we had a figure of what, close to 600? $564. So again, I thank wow, you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of our late departed brother and bishop, Yaroslav and Rafalko, and all our departed loved ones, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.